Founded in the area that used to be called South Brooklyn more than a century ago, the Church of Sacred Heart St. Stephen's claims the title oldest Italian parish in this diocese. Historian John Heyer was recently interviewed for a PBS series on the contributions of Italians to Brooklyn. He says that though the original Italian immigrants to this area had very few possessions, they brought along a rich heritage and a vibrant faith. They were definitely um, not liked when they first got here. They looked a little different. Their culture was definitely different. Their language was absolutely different, unlike the Irish immigrants who had come before them and at least spoke English. And so, you know, that faith held them strong and helped them persevere through a, a lot of adversity. Many of the statues that line the church are from Italy or were created to replicate a beloved image back home. The pastor, Monsignor Guy Massey, shows me one key piece. Parishioners still process through the streets with this image twice a year, mirroring the celebrations in their homeland. This is the statue of Our Lady of Sorrows, or in Italian, Adolorada. Now, the people from Mola de Bari honor Mary under this title. So as a result, I think when we look at this statue, certainly it recalls the sorrowful mother and the death of Christ. But to the people from Mola de Bari, it, it represents an identity. It, re it represents the town they left. It represents the relationships they had there. It represents so much of their home. So as a result, it's an identity. An Italian immigrant herself, the patron saint of immigrants, Mother Frances Cabrini, also lived and served in this very area of Brooklyn. A mural on the location of Sacred Heart's original church building pays tribute to her ministry. She worked in the parish at the time of Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. She established the house of sisters who stood here and worked in the parish school all the way through the 1980s. She also established um, many different social service networks, so of collecting food, coats, distrib distributing them. Um, as well as the first school for Italians here in the diocese, which was uh, meant to help train them in a trade as well as teach them English. Along with the culture and the faith that Italians have as their legacy, John Heyer wants to make sure that we remember their original sacrifice. Many of them, the, the men of the family came over first, they sacrificed, they worked hard alone, they worked many of them 10, 20 in one apartment until they were able to establish themselves, be able to make enough of money to get their own apartment or their own home, and then send for their wife and their children. And then they all sacrificed and taking this kind of leap of faith and coming to America, not really knowing what was gonna be here. We as Americans, really, should look at that experience in order to understand both where we come from and where our new immigrants are coming from and what they're experiencing at this time. The PBS series about Italians in Brooklyn also features an interview with former Brooklyn Auxiliary Bishop Frank Caggiano, who now leads the Bridgeport Diocese. John Heyer says he hasn't yet seen the series, but he can't wait for the premiere next week. For Currents from Carroll Gardens, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.